I'm David with The Barbecue Lab, and it's our goal to bring you the best outdoor cooking gear and techniques to help you win your weekend. The outdoor pizza oven has been around for decades, but in the last few years, it seems like we all have to have one. In this video, I interview Kirk from Fontana Forney about their line of outdoor pizza ovens, including the Marinara Rosso. We've got it all coming up. All right, I'm with Kirk from Fontana Pizza Ovens. And Kirk, tell us a little bit about this model that we have here and kind of what makes you unique in the, in the space. Okay, Fontana has been making metal wood-fired ovens for over 50 years. They were the first company who started making metal wood-fired ovens. And there are many different types of ovens in this category right now, but there are some features about this oven that distinguish us from the others. Uh, one is the fact when you look inside of the dome, there are actually bends in the curve. Those bends give structure and they also help reflect the heat better. Uh, we have a court and steel shield, which is the only one in the industry that ensures that your dome is going to last for years and years. Our insulation has been rated by a third party, which is the certification, UL CSA to be safe to come within one inch to combustibles. That is a leading industry um, amount. We have a damper on our chimney, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it gives you a tremendous advantage for heat control. Uh, you can close the door, uh, especially at lower temperatures. You can close the damper so the heat stays inside of the oven and the way the smoke exits the chimney, it has to make a slight S pattern, so it keeps heat inside of the oven instead of wasting it coming out of the chimney. Um, another advantage that we have is we import and are the distributors for the biscotto, which is the stone that comes from Naples, Italy. It is the only stone you can cook at the required temperatures, which are 850 to 900 degrees on the stone, that will not cause burning on the bottom of your pizza. It's a very unusual stone. It's handmade and it comes in limited quantities just because it's a family business and they can only produce so much. So for those who are new to like pizza, so pizza ovens in general, uh, walk us through like how would they start the fire and how are they going to control the temperatures inside the oven? Okay, a lot of people are fearful of a wood-fired oven because they've never used it before. It's actually very easy to start. Uh, you just begin with small kindling. As long as it's dry, you can use a small starter cube, you can use a, a torch just to start the kindling. Once it starts, if you open your damper and partially close the door, it creates a draft and it actually starts very easily. Once the kindling starts, you, you start adding larger pieces of wood. This oven will heat up. I can have it heated up in about 15 minutes. In reality, for that stone to be good and hot all the way through, it takes about 30 minutes. So once you actually build the fire, you're gonna build it in the center of the, of the oven? That is what, maybe that is what the Italians would say, and most people recommend that in a traditional masonry type structure. We have found, and we use them all the time. My wife is from Italy, and I've got a variety of ovens at my house, including two masonry ovens. Um, we have found that building the fire on the side, we get the same heat up times and there's less cleanup. When you start in the middle, you've got a bunch of ashes that you have to sweep over and we keep the floor cleaner and we find we get the same heat up time just doing it on the side of the oven. And that's, and that's what this piece of, that's what this piece of metal is going to be for, right? Is that for more building the fire or is it for moving the fire over? Walk no, us through. this, this actually is you build the fire and it keeps the wood from rolling into your workspace. Um, the other main misconception is that this oven is just for pizza. Uh, you know, being, living in Italy, having lived in Italy, and my wife being from Italy, we know that you can pretty much make anything inside of this oven. If you go to our Instagram page, Fontana Forney USA, 
you will see my wife cooks pretty much everything inside of the oven from desserts to bread to meats uh, to pretty much anything you could imagine um, so we are baking bread inside of the oven we're introducing steam into the oven uh, as well as cooking pizza Wow. So if they want to learn more about you, you said where, the, where your Instagram is. Is there a website they can find out more? Our website is FontanaOvens.com or FontanaCourneyUSA.com. Great. Well, hey, it's a pleasure. Thanks for introducing us to this oven. If you want to learn more, check them out online. We appreciate it. Question of the day. Are you already cooking with an outdoor oven? Or are you still in the wishing stage like we are? If you had one, what's the first thing you'd cook in it? Let us know in the comments section below, as well as your thoughts on the Margarita Rosso from Fontana. If you want to see more about Fontana's line of outdoor ovens, check out our links in the description below for more photos, information, and a link where you can buy their ovens online and have them shipped right to your front door. And if you want to check out some of our other coverage from the Barbecue Expo, we have a whole playlist out and we'll link it up in the YouTube card as well as in the description below. And I'll see you next time right here on the Barbecue Lab.